welcome back. This is going to be the video, the follow-up video on the Kaiser uh, aluminum sole frames here on the first one. If you watched it, I uh, they have these plastic optional sliders. These two middle screws actually started coming loose and I think they were scraping on the metal when I was grinding, which made them slide a little bit slow. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be skating a different park. It's pretty bad weather here. So I'm gonna be skating the indoor skate park here in Oklahoma City, the Daily Shred. I'm gonna be skating them with these plastic sliders nice and tight to sort of get like a second impression. And I'm gonna be taking off these plastic sliders about halfway through just to get some impressions on how it is, just metal on metal. Um, I'll be linking to everything I'm skating down in the description below if you wanna go check it out. So I'll link to the first video card in the corner right here. Um, if you end up liking the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Let's head on over to the Daily Shred Indoor Skate Park and uh, start jamming. Okay. We'll see you over there. Second session done on the Kaiser aluminum sole frames here. So I'm gonna talk about kind of my experiences, uh, any differences from the first session, 
what I thought. I did skate the first half of the session with the plastic sliders installed. About halfway through, I took them off. Boop. So I'm going to talk about some of my experiences. So let's start right off with that. The plastic versus the non-plastic, the aluminum experience. So I found out, I found with the, um, the plastic, optional plastic sliders here, that sliding was a little bit more, a little bit better, a little bit smoother, and a little bit more consistent. Um, that was the big thing I found with, with these metal um, sole frames is that the H block seems really good, but the soles can seem pretty inconsistent. Like the metal on metal, I think it just pronounces, like if something already doesn't slide that well, even if you were on plastic, anything, it seems like the metal on metal seems to pronounce that, if that makes sense. So I found that it was, in my experiences, were better with the plastic sliders on than off in terms of consistency and generally just being more predictable and sliding a little bit better. Um, so when I took them off, um, it was just, like I said, more pronounced. So the, the soles and um, people mentioned, a lot of you mentioned in the comments on the last video, and thank you for mentioning this, but a lot of people skate like just metal frames, either solas or the, uh, you know, Kaiser Element 2s or whatever. And they were saying there was a pretty distinct break-in period. Like there's a a necessary break in period for metal frames uh, where it takes a little bit of a while once you kind of get them sort of broken in to the point where they slide a little bit better and a little bit more consistently. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to skate these. These aren't mine. Thanks again, Zach, for letting me borrow these, but these aren't mine. So I'm not going to be able to skate them for like, you know, a month to really break them in and get that true like understanding. And, uh, and I, I wish I could, but unfortunately I can't. So if you're interested in these, just understand that there may be and there probably will be a break in period for getting them to slide a little bit more consistently. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, overall, it seemed like the H blocks slid pretty well. Unfortunately, on most things, the sole plates just just didn't seem to slide that well. It made it, it might have been the skate park a little bit. But even with the plastic sliders, it was better, but it wasn't great. It wasn't like lightning fast. It wasn't anything uh, super impressive. And um, yeah, just unfortunately, like not that impressed. So let's talk about one of the good things about these frames, and I've mentioned this on the first video and no surprise, but because they are metal, and I think because it's all one piece here, that it's all metal, it's all one piece, I think that contributes to maybe even more rigidity than just having a metal frame by itself. Potentially, I'm sort of, I'm speculating here, but either way, they translate a lot of power to the ground. So if you like park skating, if you really want that extra speed um, in terms of transitions and pumping and, and translating the energy to the ground, um, these are really good. These are really good. Just understand too that with the metal frame, it's going to translate that power, but it's also going to translate that shock up to you from the ground up to you as well. So in terms of gaps and stuff like that, I know people with metal frames and stuff do gaps and do like drops and stuff like that. Unfortunately, like that that's not me anymore. Even with plastic frames, I'm 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 cool. But just understand that if you if you're new to metal stuff, um, it has its has its pros and cons, right? And one of those cons is that it can be pretty shocky if you land uh, really hard, right? But by that same notion, that same kind of logic, it translates power to the ground really effectively. So you can go, in theory, faster on transition. As far as the, I, I wanna go back to the H-block really quickly. I do like the H-block groove. It feels really secure in terms of boot down tricks and the boot down angle that these have. Um, it feels really good. Like that was one big key takeaway with these is that like the boot down tricks, like back torques on these, and front torques feel really, really good. I mean, I, I like torques already on my factions here, but um, specifically like front farves, which I don't really do that often. Front farves and like back torques and front torques uh, feel really good on these. So I just wanted to mention that before I forget. While we were at the skate park, there was quite a few people there hanging out and jamming. And I kind of passed these around for everyone to take a look at and feel. And one thing that they everyone kind of universally mentioned was that they are not light skates with these on. They are not. The factions are, these are carbon fiber skates. Um, and they're they're light, um, but with these on there, riding flat, this is a hefty, hefty setup. And that's just part of it, right? You take the good with the bad. Um, it's heavy. Some people like heavy, especially like carrying that momentum through the park, which makes sense to me. Um, I didn't notice it being like a big deal. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, I'm lugging these things around. I think because they are fast in the park, um, I didn't really notice like, oh, I'm like, Every time I jump or anything like that, I, you know, like maybe a little bit that, like, hey, it's a little bit tougher to to hop up stuff, maybe. But um, honestly, to, to be honest, I didn't really, it wasn't that big of a deal. So just something, just something to uh, keep in mind as well. One thing too that I noticed when I was skating around the skate park is there's that when I was skating that metal rail, uh, I don't think the skateboarders are used to hearing metal on metal from a rollerblader. So when I was going really fast and doing like super fast front sides and soles and stuff, it was like the whole park turned to be like, who on a skateboard is doing that? 
And so it was super loud, actually, with the acoustics in that warehouse in the indoor park. Basically, like everyone in the park, I, I knew every trick people were going to be like, Whoo. so there's that, which whatever, that's, that's not going to keep me from skating these skates. It was and the feedback kind of like I mentioned this on the first video too. like the metal on metal feedback is actually really cool. Like it has like a very unique feel and sensation, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, they are loud, especially in a a warehouse indoor skate park but whatever okay so big takeaways i think the h block is good the boot down groove and everything like that feels really good they translate a lot of power to the ground they're gonna be super durable too we didn't really mention that but they're gonna last for a long long time so that's something to definitely take into account as well and so if and when these wear out it's pretty easy i imagine pretty inexpensive to swap these out pretty quickly um, but otherwise these things are probably gonna last you a very very long time so those are some of the good points Again, I mentioned that they're kind of heavy, right? Um, I think the soles slide a little bit inconsistently, probably until you get them broken in. So there is that break-in period that you need to account for. And then just for gaps or anything like that, like they're going to be a little bit shockier. Uh, they're going to they're gonna give you a little bit more of an impact feel. So I would make sure to have like some good shock absorbers in your skates. Okay, so that's my second session impressions on the Kaiser aluminum sole frames here. Are they my jam? Not really. Are they fun to blast around the park? Absolutely. So if you want a really fast setup for the skate park to really haul butt around uh, the, the skate park, then this is your jam. For me, who's a lot more grinding based specifically, um, I generally ride anti-rocker. Like This is cool and I, I enjoy the experience and figuring these things out. But for me, this is not quite for me. I'll, I, uh, I'm going to go back to the Create Original anti-rocker setup and and go get my grinder blading on but anyway hey i again i will link to everything i talked about everything i skated will be down in the description below if you want to go check that out uh thanks again zach smith for letting me skate your soul frames here and uh hey rollerbaters if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing we'll see you on the next video take care thank you so much to my patreon supporters without your help this would not be possible if you want to support the channel through patreon check out the link down in the description below and check out the video on the screen i'll see you over there